a lot of um, a lot of hand holding through this lab. Okay, so this is the uh, genetics lab, uh, also called Congratulations, it's a creature. And what we're going to uh, uh, you're going to introduce to them uh, a whole bunch of stuff about genetics, sexually reproducing organisms, kind of introducing chromosome. Um, if you can, near the end, linked genes. We'll try to do that. Blending inheritance. Uh, so all of, all of this stuff that's in the beginning of the of the notes there. And uh, you really got to watch your time on this lab. Make sure that you're watching your time on this lab. And um, I really suggest that you walk them through uh, part one, okay? Walk them through part one at the board. And so start the lab off by having, these, uh, having the students uh, pick one student and have them read the introduction, okay? So have them read the introduction on the student lab manual, which talks about how they are a group of novice dragon breeders, and so far they're really bad at their jobs. Um, they never seem to be able to breed dragons that have the most desirable traits, and so they hire um, they hire a uh, professional as a consultant to come in, but to help them understand the genetics of their dragons so that they can breed them and make money. Okay, and uh, uh, but unfortunately. The consultant got eaten <laughs> by a dragon, <laughs> one of the dragons. And all that was left for you guys um, is uh, when you looked up at her station and what she was doing, or he, he or she, all that was left that you have to decipher from uh, is a bag of uh, inheritance sticks that she was working with, he or she was working with, and um, a sheet that tells you some of the characteristics, okay? So this is all that you guys have to work with uh, for this beginning part to figure out how the dragons are breeding and passing on their traits. And so, you know, uh, go, I made a bunch of copies of these and uh, I think if you'd only put two per table, one between each two people, and then uh, they get a bag of uh, sticks. Now the way that the sticks are, uh, they have to figure out uh, that these are representing chromosomes, and they have to figure out what they need for a complete set, okay? And basically, they're going to, the way that the sticks go, uh, there's a long one, a colored one, and then a short one, okay, a short one. Now, the colored ones, there's, there's different colors. doesn't matter, uh, but just make sure that, they, you know, when they end up trying to figure out what they're going to need, the color doesn't matter as long as they end up with one long one, uh, well, they'll actually end up for a complete set. They'll need two long ones, right? Uh, they'll need two colored ones. Doesn't matter if they're different colors. And then they'll need two short ones. Okay. All right. So you have a have a student read the, the beginning and say, okay. So what what information do we know? Okay. What what information is given that we know? Let me switch to a darker marker. So what is given? What do we know right now? about uh, the dragons. What's our given info? Okay, So we know that, okay, we know what? We know that they are sexually reproducing, okay, that they have sexual reproduction, right? And we know that they have six traits, correct? Okay, we know that they have six traits. And the traits, the six traits, are listed on the sheet here that the consultant drew up for us. Okay? So the dragon's uh, traits, uh, they have horns, spots, toes, tail, back, and wings. Those are the traits in there and what type of each one of those traits that they have. Okay? Like long horns, short horns. So they have six, uh, six traits and they're sexually reproducing. So what does this mean by sexually reproducing? Okay, what, what does that mean? Ask them. Try to pull that from them because you'll be surprised that some don't know what sexual reproduction is. Uh, sexual reproduction means that what? We need a mom dragon and we need a dad dragon, correct? And the mom passes on, she's got eggs that have to be fertilized by 
the sperm from the dragon. So when those come together, okay, egg and sperm, fancy terms for these if you want to introduce it, but the fancy term for uh, sex cells uh, is gametes, okay? So that's a fancy term. So the egg and the sperm are the gametes when they unite through the act of fertilization, then we get a baby dragon, right? We get a baby dragon. Okay, through the process of fertilization. And uh, so mom is passing on some information, and so is dad, that combine, and we get the baby dragon, what the baby dragon traits are. So that we know, that's, that's given, all right? And uh, so now what we have to figure out is, what we have to figure out uh, is uh, we need to figure out from their traits what Okay, and your fancy kits here, what makes a set, okay, a set of inheritance factors that the mother and the, and the father will pass on. So what, what do we need to have a set for the dragons? And so if you look at the six there, okay, you just kind of put them out on your table and notice that there are some letters on them, okay? So what do you, if there are six traits, if there are six traits, All right, let's look at the sticks. Okay, so if we look at the sticks, oh, okay, so we see that there's, we've got long ones, we've got a colored stick, and look, there's a short stick. And then what seems to be on each one of the sticks? Okay, oh, there's letters. So how many total letters are there on uh, those three sticks? Okay, oh, there's two uh, on each one, so that's two, four, six. And if you look at them, are they all the same letter? No, okay, so someone should say no, right, we've got A, B, uh, C, D, E, and F. Hey, there's six traits, oh, okay. So, we need what? We need to have at least one long popsicle stick, we need to have at least a colored popsicle stick, and we need to have at least uh, a small popsicle stick. Is that enough to represent a complete set for a sexually reproducing organism, okay? So hopefully they're gonna say no, because uh, if they don't, go back to sexual reproduction, okay? So we've got um, a complete set, then somebody needs to pass on, you know, how can you pass on, what are you gonna break the stick and pass on half the stick, okay? So in order to be a complete set for an individual, you need to have two of each one, right? So we need to have two, long, two colored, and two short. Okay, it doesn't matter what the color is. They can be two different colors. So go ahead and, and pull out uh, of the set here. Each person, pull out a complete set. Okay, and the letters are gonna be different, that's okay. Just make sure that each person at your table pulls out and has a complete set for um, a dragon. Okay, so a complete set. We need to have too long, we need to have, okay, two colored sticks, and we need to have two little sticks, right? Because sexually reproducing organisms, then uh, if you are, if you have mom who has six and dad who has six, then mom's going to pass on half, one of each stick, and dad's going to pass on half, one of each stick. And the combination of those uh, is what would be in the baby dragon. 